Oh, hello, hello. Come on in, come on in. Welcome. I have moved. Welcome to my new office. There's still unpacking to do. Don't close your eyes. Wow, she's got an office. This is cold adulting. All right, welcome to Sunday study sessions with Steph. And by that I mean, I just intended to have a very productive Sunday. And perhaps if I vlog it, I'm keeping myself accountable. You know, if I'm filming a time-lapse, I'm not scrolling TikTok. And that's what's important. Except this lovely lady keeps distracting me. Cause she always wants to sit on my lap and then I can't get any work done. So, what are you studying for, Steph? Well, I don't know how much detail I want to go into. Basically, I have a thing on tomorrow that I need to study for. And if I don't end up getting the thing, I don't know if I'm going to talk much about the thing. So sorry to keep it vague. But I am doing some study of the data structures and algorithms. So, leak code time. Leak code is a website where you can practice solving coding problems. Tell I've been moving. <laughs> Um, if anyone's an electrician and can hit me up to give me some nice good internet in this room rather than me just hackily having a really big cable, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> it's probably a safety hazard, huh? Some nice jazz in the background. So the thing is, lunch is obviously good for you. Nutrition, food, it's something we all need. But when you're trying to be productive and get some study done, lunch is the enemy. Because you know what follows after lunch is the strong desire for an afternoon nap. But alas, we have our secret weapon. It's not quite an energy drink, but it'll do. And we're gonna push through this sad feeling of needing to sleep and get some more study done. Okay, you can do it. I believe you can do it. Oh. Oh, nap time. I gotta say, it feels so freaking good to get like leak code medium and hard questions right without looking at the solution, without trying to look for tips or anything. When weeks ago, these kind of questions, I would have just got stuck on for hours and been so confused. So it is nice to see that when you hunker down and practice, you do get better at things. Wow, who would have thought? So yeah, quite chuffed with myself, not gonna lie. Maybe it's the beanie. The beanie must have given me the power I needed. Before putting on the beanie, I was in fact falling asleep for a bit at my desk. You win some, you lose some. Will you give me the power that I need to study all day? Yes. Okay, good, good. I can't just get excited every time I do a single question because there's, it always feels like there's just so much more I need to do. I have a list of topics that I'm trying to get better at and some I am definitely much more confident with than others. So it's a bit of a gamble what topic I may end up needing to know. Anyways, we are getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta cleanse your brain and get away from the screen for a little bit. Also it turns out when you have dogs as pets they require being walked. <laughs>
food. And you're too lazy to cook. What's better than some late night studying, eating mac cheese at your desk? Probably a lot of things. Mac cheese is just one of those meals when you're feeling kind of stressed and you just want something easy and yummy. Just microwave mac cheese. Oh, this turns into an ASMR channel. Sorry, I won't succumb you to that. Oh, I am in a weird state of stress though. The thing I'm studying for is not related to my current job. And I just realized today that tomorrow at my actual job, my nine to five, that's pretty important. I'm supposed to be doing a demo at 1 p.m. And I mean, the, the build behind what I'm demoing is done. I just haven't actually tested it in terms of making sure that I have something I can demo and it works. You know, I don't want to test it for the first time during a demo. So I took a bit of a hiatus from this studying work that I'm doing and hopped on my work laptop and was just hastily putting in some test data into some tables in SQL Server and just running some things. And it's still running now. Probably going to take a while. It says the pipeline is in progress. Yeah. But now I'm just in a weird state of stress where my mind is caught up between two different things that I need to focus on. And there's just not enough time in the world. Time is the biggest constraint in life. I wish we could just buy more time. Time is money, right? Just sad that it's a very finite resource. Oh, I'm rambling because I'm procrastinating getting back to doing more work. I'm in a weird spot where it's 7 p.m. So really I only have a few more hours in my day. I don't want to stay up too late. And I have a document here that has a list of all the different things I basically should be an expert at. And some of them I'm okay with. Some of them, if you ask me a complex, advanced question about it, I would be pretty stumped. And it's this feeling of do I grind and try to consume as much information as I can right now or just have acceptance that I've learned as much as I can and if I end up being in a position tomorrow where something comes up that I don't understand, it's not the end of the world and it'll be a good learning experience either way. I'd like to point out that studying this much in one day is such a rarity for me. It's just because I have a deadline. I just got sucked into a little bit of scrolling TikTok. So I'm back to filming myself work because that's the only way I can not touch my phone apparently. I guess I could just lock it in another room, but let's just make some content, I guess. Do you want some more studying B-roll? Is this even entertaining to anyone? At least it's keeping me accountable. So back to trying to do things. And this question I've just been working on, using dynamic programming is really hard and I might just give up and move on to another question because at a certain point when you spent like two hours on something you've just got to just cut your losses look at the solution and move on <laughs> there comes a certain point in life where you look at the time, you look at the studying you've done, and you realize, I probably should go to bed. It's 11 o'clock, which I mean, rookie hours for my uni days. We don't want to speak of how late I used to stay up back in the day. Some of the old nighters I pulled. <sighs> but I'm a responsible adult now with a nine to five, and it's Sunday night, and I, I need... I need to sleep. So I've just got to hope that the studying I've done is enough. And if it's not enough, well, at least I've learned things. It will be okay either way. You can do it. All right, I feel like I'm starting to feel a bit delirious. I have no idea if any of this video has been entertaining at all. I feel like I've just been filming myself work at my desk all day, which honestly, riveting content. Am I right? I mean, if you made it this far, Clearly you must think so. <laughs> so who's the weirdo here? I shouldn't talk negatively to my viewers. Anyways, let's wrap this up and get a good night's sleep. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day, evening, morning, night, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.